Guardians of the Galaxy. You don't know a lot about me, but before I met you guys, there was someone. She's gone now, but maybe with that relic I can make her ungone. I know you've got a lot on your mind, but that kid you fought, maybe he does too. Promise me in the future, you'll use your words instead of your fists. I don't know what's gonna happen next time. I can't promise that. Well, try. For me. The Eternity Forge resides here, pending such time as it can be wielded responsibly. Until then, she shall remain entombed across the galaxy. Come find me, Peter. I'll be waiting for you. You're nearly there, Peter. I got it, Mom. Thanks, baby. Ugh. Another headache? <sighs> Just a little one. Stop worrying. It's fine. Just took me by surprise. I'm not worried. You're super, Mom. <laughs> You'll be okay. Hmm. I guess that makes you Super Peter. Mom, Star-Lord. That's my superhero name. Sorry, Star-Lord. I better get that prescription before the pharmacy closes. Stay out of trouble till I get back, okay? Be good. I know that's not always easy for you. Aw, where's the fun in that? Being good can be fun too. <laughs> Give me one example. I'll get back to you on that. I'll be back soon. Hey, Pete. Hey, Mr. Pinkle. Here to get that mixtape copied? Yeah. Sure is a nice thing to do for your mom. How's she doing, anyway? <sighs> well, she's not doing so well. I'm sorry to hear that, Pete. Well, I'm sure this is gonna make her feel a lot better. Music's got some powerful mojo. Both sides? Come back in about an hour, and it'll be ready. Hey, Petey! You make that mix for your boyfriend? Oh, shut up, Clarence. You brain dead, kid? I've told everybody a million times I go by my last name, King. Afraid I'm gonna break it again? <laughs> You afraid I'm gonna hit you again? <laughs> Listen to you. <laughs> Pretending you got balls! Hey, how's that lip doing? Give me that. What are you doing here anyway? You don't have money. Everyone in town's talking about it. Your mom can't even pay her medical bills. She's been going door to door asking for help like some pathetic loser. She's probably off looking for change in the sewers right now. Come on. Let's not do this, man. Do what? We're just talking. You gonna cry now? Huh? Uh. Please, please, stop! 
What did you do? Peter, answer me. He was saying mean stuff about you, about our family. I did this for you, Mom. I don't care what he said. Those are just words. And this is the last thing I ever would have wanted. Are you okay? I think he might have broken my jaw. We talked about this, Peter. I asked you to try not to fight. Look at this. <coughs> Look at this poor boy. <coughs> Mom! Uh -huh. <coughs> oh, God. I'll call an ambulance. You're so close, Peter. Gamora! Whoa! Hey! Gamora! Come on, Nebula. What are you doing? You can do better than that. Not Nebula! It's me, Peter, who you like a whole lot and definitely do not want to kill! Come on, this isn't fair! I don't have a sword! Nebula. You need to be aware of everything around you. Perception's just as important as strength and speed. None of them are important when I'm stuck here. I want to use what you've taught me somewhere outside of this room. I'm sick of just doing the same thing over and over. Be patient, Nebula. You'll get your chance soon enough. So now I need patience, too? Looks like you've lost your touch. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> that was actually a little impressive. <laughs> Just a little? You're hurting me! <sighs> Great. Nebula, you have grown so much. Father... You may yet be the greatest assassin in the galaxy. Don't you agree, Gamora? <laughs> well, she does have the best teacher. I wouldn't expect anything less. And yet you were disarmed so easily. Perhaps Nebula no longer requires your tutelage. I have a mission for you. You will go to a Kree outpost on the planet of Phalion. There you will find General Tarval. He has come into possession of something I require. A device. Gamora, you will fetch the device for me. You, Nebula. You will kill the General. Thank you, Father. I, I promise you, I will succeed. I know you will, daughter. Gamora. 
You were always my favorite. But you have become cold, distant. Father, I don't think this is a good idea. Nebula isn't ready. She's impulsive, reckless. Do not question my judgment. You have lost any confidence I had in you. Go and prepare. You will head out immediately. And Gamora, I know you no longer care. But if you fail, your sister will pay for your missteps. Tell Nebula I wish to speak with her. <sighs> Is everything all right? What's going on? I couldn't hear you, but Father... He didn't look happy. <sighs> Thanos wants to talk to you. To me? I guess this is it. My chance to prove myself. Or fail miserably. Don't worry, Nebula. I've got your back. No. I've got to do this myself. It's what I've been training for. I won't let Father down. Let's just do this. Nebula! Nebula, are you all right? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me! I won't tell Thanos, I promise. We'll keep it to ourselves. Father... Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. Do it! No, that's not how this works. I don't take orders from you. Then you leave me no choice. What are you-
Oh, crap. You slapped me. I was trying to snap you out of it before you killed me. Well, that's not the way to do it. Well, apparently it was. Stop. Stop slapping me. Okay, 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 okay. Uncle, uncle. Don't do that again. I don't know what happened. One minute you and I were walking into the temple, and the next yeah, I was... Yeah, I, uh, I know. Wait, were you... Did you see all that? My memory? Are you okay? I've been trying not to think of that day. Because I really want to fix things with Nebula. But seeing that... She thought I was being selfish, taking away everything she worked so hard to achieve. That's why she turned on me. She tried to kill you. There is no excuse for that. Look, if anyone deserves to hold a grudge, it's you. That's not how Nebula sees it. That last moment, it became everything. All I remembered of her. There were times we were happy, despite Thanos, despite everything. We had each other. Maybe, maybe I could have done more. Been more honest with how I was feeling. Stop just seeing her as someone I needed to protect. Gamora, she didn't want your help. She wanted to prove herself on her own. Even if it meant hurting you. I know, but... Nebula is who she is because of me. That hatred, that coldness, her inability to trust anyone. She is Thanos' daughter. Who else could she be after I betrayed her? I failed her. Listen to me. You didn't fail her. You don't fail at anything. You are the strongest person I know, okay? And I respect the hell out of you for that. And I don't just mean the ass kicking. I mean, believe me, you kick some serious ass. I do kick a lot of ass, huh? Hell yeah, you do. Now, come on. Let's figure out why the Forge brought us here before things get even more... Weird. Oh, man. My mom loved this song. She played that record non-stop. Peter, wait. This place... It seems to be using our memories against us. We don't know what we'll find inside, or why it's been drawing us here. Yeah, well, if anything goes wrong, you'll be here to protect me, right? You're not saying anything, and it's super worrying. Gamora, seriously? Recognize this place? Yeah. This is where my mom. Uh, this is where I saw her last. I don't know what all this means, Peter. But I hope somehow you get your mom back. Thanks for, uh. for understanding. She's your family, your real family. 
I know how much she means to you. Are you? You have known me for a while now. Not your mom, right? Definitely not. You... You came for me. After all these... Oh, what are these? They are very shiny. Hey, over here. Ah, <sighs> Peter Quill. Really here. The name's Star Lord, baby. Oh, I see. Star Lord, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's just it's Star Lord, legendary outlaw. Why does this never work? Yeah, sure. What? I have another one. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. It is so wonderful to be free of that tomb. No longer trapped in my own mind. Alone. You are truly the hero the legends foretold. So brave and handsome. Though perhaps not in the classical sense. What? Ha! You must have many questions for me. Why were you locked in here? So that you could find me. Not very helpful. I have been waiting for you all this time. The moment you touched the forge, I knew you were the celestial one. That you could free me. So I reached out to you the only way I could. Through your memories. The ones most vivid to you. But you must understand, I had no control over them. I... Oh no, that is not what I wanted at all. I am so sorry. I truly did not know you'd feel so violated. I'd hoped you would feel glad to see her again. I did not mean for my abilities to hurt you. How... Your mind is clouded with so many emotions. 
So you seek answers. But those answers will not help you. How could you possibly know how he feels? I can show you, angry lady. Oh, no. Never mind. May I show you? Please, I mean no harm. Watch. Do it again! Do it again! Come on! With great pleasure. Oh, this isn't going to go well. What emotion was that? I... do not believe I should say out loud. Sexual. You see, I am an empath. I can read the emotions of others. It is my duty to help the Celestial One decide the fate of the Forge. That could really come in handy. <laughs> oh, she's gotta meet the rest of the group. Yeah. Introduce an emotionally charged being to a group who are emotionally sensitive. Who should we try on first? What is this? Why are her head tentacles glowing? The big green tattoo man is... filled with sadness. What? No! He lacks... direction. I do not lack direction! Only once have I required a map. Now he is ashamed for his outburst. Mantis is an empath, Drax. She can sense your emotions. I do not show emotion! She's also the one who made us relive our memories. That was you? We went halfway across the galaxy, got chased by that psycho Hala for a party trip? It is my job to guide the Celestial One. What the hell does that mean? The Celestial One? You messed with our minds. Why? I am Groot. She thinks I'm someone called the Celestial One. How about that? Celestial what? Why is there only one? And could that one also be me? Oh, I can explain. <sighs> long ago... Wait, wait, wait. Are you gonna spew some long mumbo-jumbo about where you come from and why I should care? Yes. Is that a problem? Remember Thanos? Going on like... Now that I got this, I'm gonna roll through the galaxy like a giant turd and blah, blah, blah. Well, I, for one, wanna hear it. All of it. Then it's time for a nap. Go ahead, Mantis. Enlighten us. Of course, Star-Lord baby. I have communicated only through my feelings for years. It is nice to communicate with my mouth. <laughs> Eons ago. The Eternity Forge coalesced into existence uh -huh. as a way to balance mm -hmm. the life energy of the universe. To create, you must destroy. And to destroy, you must create. But such colossal power cannot be oh, wielded yeah, lightly. So I was brought in to ensure that the Forge was only wielded by someone deserving mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and to help guide the wielder down the right path. But I waited. And waited. Years went by. Many unworthy tried to use the forge. Some even tried to force me to help them. The oh, Kree decided ya. that no culture had matured enough to use the forge with the wisdom required. Eventually, the forge and I were separated, locked away until the time when civilizations could reach the peak of wisdom and maturity. And that is only the beginning. Well, thanks a lot for that, Pete. Hmm. What an interesting and relevant story. Aren't you glad we heard it all, champ? Someday, Quill, I'm gonna blast you out an airlock. I have not yet gotten to the most important part. Kill me. There is a legend of the Celestial One. The Chosen One who shall arrive from the stars to use the Eternity Forge. This Celestial One. What are they like? Advanced intellect. Emotionally mature. Wise being capable of navigating the dark waters of immense power. Someone who can see beyond his own selfish desires. That's... <laughs> that describes me pretty perfectly. <laughs> hey, come on guys, hey, knock it off. <laughs> it is not funny. Peter is the Celestial One. Oh, you're so full of crap, lady. 
If Pete is this celestial what's-it, then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back. But when we tried to use it again on... someone else, it didn't do a damn thing. You're lost. I can feel it has been with you for some time. The forge is... limited right now. It can only restore life to a body that is mostly whole and... undeteriorated. <sighs> I... am Groot. Well, that sucks. Who is sucking what? No, he means, that is unfortunate. It does not have to suck. What do we gotta do? The Celestial One must deliver the Forge to the Sacred Shrine. There you can unlock its true power, or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? Returning anyone, from any time period, back to the realm of the living. Lost ones, loved ones, I suppose hated ones too, if you were so inclined. Well, let's unlock this thing! You should know. This power comes with a price. <sighs> Saw that coming. Life energy cannot be made. It must be transferred. So someone still has to die for the thing to work. Then let's finish our drinks and go use this thing! Yes! Really? Who are you planning to kill? Well, you're kind of annoying me right Hala now. Hala wants to use this forge to raise her army. We have to destroy Not it. until my family is returned I to me. Am Right? Groot says he's on my side. That's three to one, Gamora. We win. That is not true. Groot feels the opposite. Uh, I mean, maybe something got lost in translation. Hey, you mistranslated Groot. On purpose. How long have you been doing this? I just slipped up. <laughs> this was a one-time thing. I am Groot. Okay, a two-time thing. So... It is a tie, then. Two for using it. I am Groot. I'm gonna take a guess. He said two for destroying it. Don't you get what this means? We can bring back anyone that we lost. At a cost. Right now? I'm leaning towards using it. Atta boy. <sighs> Look, we can undo things that never should have happened. Thank you, Peter. Well, one way or another, this all ends at the shrine. Can you take us there, Mantis? I have never been, but with your help, I believe I can sense its location. May we have some space to concentrate? Gladly. If anyone needs me, I'll be emotionally unavailable. And that's new. Ha ha ha. What are you doing? Helping? Hmm. Maybe it is best if you sit still. Right, of course. I cannot sense the shrine. There is so much unrest among your crew. Their emotions are overwhelming me. They look to you for guidance. Help them. Drax, how are you doing? I was angry that you did not allow me to guard Nebula. But that... <sighs> but now, I am hopeful. The Forge can bring my family back. If you choose to use it. Well, I... So I must trust you would not take away my chance to reunite with my wife and daughter. Even though you did not behave in a trustworthy manner. Huh? You had no right to have the Antenna Woman do that to me. You did not even ask my permission. That is the height of offense, Peter Quill. Mantis was just doing what I asked. That is all on me, buddy. I'm sorry. I accept your apology. Because you are too feeble-minded to know any different. Hey! She told me I was afraid. I do not like to feel afraid. Such feelings bring me great shame. But, talking to you, a frequently scared person, has helped. Yeah. Anytime, Drax. Fine. Fine! Hey, are you okay? 
the hell was that? I tried to say everything I could think of. I thought maybe if I asked her to stick around for a while... Ugh, she won't hear it. Not from me. She'll barely even look at me. So don't give up on her. Family is always worth it. I know, I'm really trying. But I just can't find the right words with her. But maybe... Maybe if we had more time, I could try talking to her again, when she's calmed down. Give her some space, without losing her altogether. Well, they say time heals all wounds. Who's they? I have no idea. Maybe I can get her to hang around. Yeah. Just, maybe not right now. Think she needs some alone time. Um, hey, Nebula. Yeah, uh, hey, it's me, <laughs> Peter Quill, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, but you know that. You mind if I sit? Cool, yeah, this is, uh, this is really, how's the arm? It's not bad. Would have come in handy to have both arms while fighting off the Kree. I suppose I'm lucky you let me out at all. So, thanks, I guess. Oh, man, you were awesome. And you only had one arm. Well, yeah. Nice to know someone appreciates my skills. Gamora never could. Speaking of my dear sister, bet you got an earful. What'd she say about me? That I'm a waste of space. That I deserve everything I've been through. Gamora says she still cares about you. She sure has a funny way of showing it. Gamora doesn't even realize that she's the reason our family ended. Yeah, well, that's not how it looked to me. What do you mean? When we were in the temple, I saw Gamora's memory of your last mission. Oh, yeah? What did you see? She saved your life from that Kree general dude. I mean, he would have killed you if Gamora hadn't stepped in. No, he wouldn't have. You have no idea what really happened that day. And neither does Gamora. Not all of it, at least. Then show me. Now, please take my hand. If this kills me, I'm going to kick your ass. Is everything all right? What's going on? I can't stand this place anymore. I can't stand him anymore. Nebula? Come here. Nebula, my favorite daughter. Father. Your attacks against your sister were swift, precise. You disarmed Gamora easily. I was impressed. It was easy. I barely broke a sweat. It may have been easy for you, Nebula, but it was not easy. There is something you must know about Gamora. She said she would not disappoint me, but I am not so sure. Every day she grows more agitated and bitter as she watches you surpass her. You've seen her lack of respect. She disobeys me time and time again. I no longer trust her. You shouldn't trust her either, Nebula. Gamora has become a risk to our family. I know she's been difficult, but... Gamora won't fail you, father. I caution you to be careful with your sister. That is all I ask. If she continues to be a problem, you might take her place. Stand by my side as my greatest warrior and only daughter. Gamora makes herself more useless, more unreliable with each passing day. It would be an honor, father. 
We shall see how things go on Phalian. This is your moment. Go and prepare. Keep your communications open. I'll be monitoring the situation. Nebula! Nebula, are you all right? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him! That was my kill and you took it from me! Tarval was about to kill you, Nebula. I just saved your life. I know you want to impress Thanos, but trust me, he is not worth dying over. Nebula. Father. If you want to gain the honor you desire, kill Gamora. <gasps> if you don't get rid of her, I will do it myself. Only I will ensure that your sister suffers greatly. Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. Fine. Here. Hey, it's going to be fine. We're going to be okay. Is it done? What's going on? What are you making him see? It wasn't over. She showed me your last mission together. I tried to show him what really happened with Tarval, but you interrupted us. I'm sorry. I... I didn't know what was going on. But you naturally assumed the worst. What do you expect after everything that's happened? Hey! She was always pushing against Thanos, testing his limits. What happened was her fault. Yeah. I practically shoved that knife into my own gut. Too bad I had such terrible aim. Some assassin. Gamora, you are. I wasn't trying to kill you. Oh, yeah? Then what were you doing? Because it looked exactly like you were trying to kill me. Thanos said if she didn't do it, he'd do it himself. Only he'd make you suffer. It's true, Gamora. I saved your Admit life! Admit it. You just wanted to prove you were better than me. By killing If me. I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead! Thanos was going to kill you himself. There would have been nothing left of you. Do you know... I even checked your pulse, just to make sure you were still alive? You never got to see that part. The most important part. But I did! I'm kind of believing her here, Gamora. If she hadn't fake killed you, I'm... Pretty sure Thanos would have been a lot more thorough. It's possible. I don't know what to believe. I'm just trying to keep us together. You're my family. Oh, so you finally agree with me about something. What a surprise! I'm just as surprised as you. I figured you'd disagree with me just because that's what you do. Guys! Guys! Stop! You both want the same thing! He's... Actually right. It happens. Sometimes. Uh, more than sometimes. Thank you. Maybe we could... give each other a chance? 
All right. Peter, I can finally sense the shrine. Okay. Let's go. Well, if it isn't my favorite assassin sisters. <laughs> wow, that'd be a pretty rad band name. Hey, Peter. Give me one second. I'll meet you in my room. Sure. Quill. Thank you for talking to Nebula. It means a lot to have her here. It gives me hope. Uh, what are you... Ow! Hey! What? Oh, uh, was that a dagger? Was it... You got a throwing star? There? Whatever, you got something pokey on your hip. I do not usually hug. You're a good friend, Peter. Hey, Mantis. Can you direct me to that magic shrine thing now? Of course! But it is a long way, and I must concentrate completely. There can be no... There can be no distraction... I didn't know it would do that! <laughs> oh, you have made an awe-inspiring mess. Distractions. I'll see what I can do. Entrance to the shrine.
This is it. Yay! Another temple! <sighs> the Kree were not only skilled warriors, you can find great symbolism in much of their architecture. Yeah, yeah, they like pretty things. We get it. Now what, Pete? Mantis? Any pointers? It appears the forge goes there. On the altar. Seriously? Well, that was anticlimactic. around. See if you can find anything that looks off. It's done. That mean I can drop this thing? No. <laughs> These freaking temples. I'm gonna take dynamite to all of them. Now it is truly time to decide. Turn the forge to the left to destroy it forever. Turn the forge to the right to empower it and bring it to its full potential. Okay. Wait. His right, or your right? Oh. Hmm. I don't know. What? what? Let me see. Wow. I can't believe that almost happened. Turn it this way to destroy it. Turn it this- Yeah, we got it. Turn it to the right, Pete. It's left, Peter. You want your left. Peter, you must turn it left! I'm sorry. But if the Forge can bring back the people we love, it's worth any risk. As you wish, Celestial One. Bring your daddy issues into this. Watch it, vermin! Do not threaten my friend. Pete did the right Says thing. Says the raccoon who has no Don't more call me a raccoon! I'm looking out for life! The process has begun. Dead, you can release it. After you murder someone to bring her back! Oh, you're gonna give me crap about murdering someone? You worried I'll take your place as the galaxy's number one murderer? Rocket! I am through! It is over. We won. No, we just lost. How can neither of you see that? Guys, we got company! Thank you, Peter Quill. I never could have found this shrine without you. And the tracking device genes are placed on your ship. You know, I didn't think you could get more annoying than that time you killed me. <laughs> you really suck. Their usefulness has expired. Dispose of them. Not 
Fuck it! God, I have friggin' hate that thing. Oh, I've had about enough of this. God, boots are more busted than I thought. How you like me now, huh? have made you sad. Oh, we should do this more often. Looks like the boys could use some help. This won't be easy. Hope not.
Roh 